guys Fallon if you are new here. Today I have a super exciting video because it is no secret that I have an undeniable Polaroid camera and Polaroid obsession. So today I'm going to show you five different DIYs and hacks that you can do with Polaroids and cameras and anything to do with Polaroids and yeah that's why it's super exciting because I'm obsessed. Um, and I have a bunch of different Polaroid cameras, so if you guys want to see a, a whole video on the different Polaroid cameras that I have, let me know in the comments down below, and let's just go ahead and get started. may have seen that Urban Outfitters and different stores sell different color filters you can attach to your cameras to create different color schemes on your photos and I'm going to show you a really easy way you can DIY this on your own and basically all you need are some leftover candy wrappers and mine are left over from Quality Street at Christmas time but you can also use just different colored cellophane and essentially all you have to do is just take your colored cellophane and set it right over top of the lens while you're taking a photo and make sure that the cellophane is actually see-through because obviously it won't work if it isn't um, but once your picture pops out and it develops you'll get like a different color hue on every picture and you can try different colors if you like I wish I had a blue one because I really would have liked to try blue but mine turned out really good I used red and orange for mine and this is how they looked so much harder now to reach you your heart is floating in the sky come see me tonight in the sec we're flirting and we dance so you guys have probably seen before that you can actually purchase Polaroid film that has different color uh, borders on them but I'm going to show you guys how to make a really easy DIY version because those borders can actually be quite pricey so you just want to start by taking your Polaroid and tracing it onto a cool patterned paper and I just flip mine over to show you guys the dimensions that I use. You can totally use a ruler and measure it yourself, but these are the dimensions that I use and it worked out perfectly. So you just want to measure enough that you have enough to flap over the back as well as the sides to make like a mini envelope over your Polaroid. And once you have it all measured and traced out, you can just basically cut it out so that you only have the envelope shape. When she's run out of young love. Once that's done, essentially you just want to fold it along the lines to create a little tiny envelope and you can use glue but I just used tape because I didn't feel like gluing it because I'm lazy but if you want to use glue so you don't see any tape you can totally do that but I just taped mine shut and left the top flap open so that I would leave enough room to slide the Polaroid inside and then once it's inside you can close the top flap and then you have this really cool border over your Polaroids. If you guys have a ton of the mini Polaroids lying around your house, I'd recommend to pick up a pack of these little like collector card sheets from the dollar store because your Polaroids actually fit perfectly inside and it's going to store them really well so they're not going to get any scratches or anything like that and you can actually stick this into a binder to create like a photo album if you like and it's just a really easy way to store them to know that they're not going to get damaged. Would you follow me to wonders? Take my hand and walk. I can't get up alone. Too heavy on my own. So I've been seeing these photo props a lot lately and they're extremely easy to make. Basically you just want to pick up a piece of thick poster board or foam board from your dollar store, cut out the center and make the bottom thicker and you're done. If you guys want to get a little bit more creative with your Polaroids, I'm going to show you how to make a double exposure. So basically you just want to start by opening up the back of the film cartridge and then snapping your photo. And right after you snap your photo, make sure you lean the cartridge back a little bit so that it doesn't pop out the top. And then push the cartridge back in without closing the back and snap your second photo. And actually this time, let the photo pop out. And once the photo's out, then you can close the backing and you get this really cool double exposure effect. And you can definitely experiment with this and try like different styles of photos and stuff like that but just be careful that you don't lean your photo cartridge back too too much because it can overexpose the film and turn out the picture just completely white thank you guys so much for watching all 
the way to the end of this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos featuring different Polaroid DIYs, because I do have some more that I wanted to show you guys, but I couldn't fit them all into this video. So if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like my kind of content, because I make videos all the time. And I guess that's it for today, and I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!